All right, it's opening day. New Hampshire archery. And uh, heading in on the edge of this cut. It's kind of, you access it up this brook that's, that's dried up now, but there's oak trees all along, all along the edge of the cut. And I mean, there's just a pile of deer sign in there. There's just droppings everywhere. And, Fresh, fresh stuff. I was in here two days ago, right before it poured rain, and I scouted it out. I'm gonna get moving and get set up, and I'll see you in the tree. So I haven't even set up the camera equipment yet. I've seen two deer. The wind's kind of swirling. One was blowing at me. I'm on the edge, edge of this newer cut, above this ravine, and there's an old cut on the other side of the ravine. It's a big bedding area. At this point, I don't even dare set up the camera equipment because, I mean, they're already up on their feet. I gotta, I gotta keep my head on a swivel here, so we'll see what happens. Oh boy, things escalated quickly. So that last hour, sat there, nothing, and then, so. Legal time was 7.30 today, and it was like 7.25, I had already lowered my camera pack, and from, <laughs> from the middle of the new cut, which I did not expect, but I guess I was expecting the unexpected, but I just saw there was like a stump and then a gap of light in the tree like that and I just saw the, the light like something moved by it it's like oh the deer right there so I pull up and it's one of the one of the big ones I had on camera and he's like 60 yards and he's moving right into my wind I mean, my winds blowing it was blowing perfectly after after the swirling was done and it finally got consistent it was blowing perfectly for for the setup, unfortunately that, that deer already blew and ran into the cut. So whatever was in there was alerted to not come out that way, but he was he came from a completely different direction. Never heard her. And he had no idea it was there. I was able to get the bow, get turned around. Um he worked down in this little gut and he's kinda in some hemlocks and stuff and I couldn't I could see him every once in a while, just his body. But when he was up on the hill, I saw his rack and confirmed that it was a a big one. That's the biggest buck I've ever seen bow hunting, that's for sure. Um, so yeah, he knows he's being hunted now. Uh, have to have to uh, change up the strategy. So I can't hunt the next three evenings. Uh, got a rehearsal dinner tomorrow. And a wedding and so and Sunday night going out to dinner so be back at it next week uh, this is probably gonna be a kind of weekly thing um, kind of like more like a vlog series because um, I don't you know you don't kill one every time you go out so it'll be me shooting during the week and whatever just kind of scouting and and all that stuff but so on to the next day Today's Tuesday, September 20th, five days after opening day, I'm finally getting back out. Been busy, but we just had some rain push through, it's like quarter after five right now, we just had some rain push through and some more is coming. I spotted three deer in a field on the way here, so I'm sneaking up to this field, I'm going to check uh, this field edge that I had. Uh, I shot that doe last year that I never recovered. Good day to do a little scouting. It's quiet. Some more rain's coming, so it'll wash my scent away. So, wind's good. Wind's good for this spot up here, so let's see what happens.
Friday, September 23rd. Just got out of work. Had to meet up with Travis. We're going <clears throat> going north to camp. Open a weekend of rabbit season. And uh, we're gonna take the dogs and the side-by-sides and go have a grand old time. Where's a bunny? Huh? Where is it? What's Brandy doing? Fight him up, fight him up. Whoa! Get up, boy. You're good, you're good. You're wipe him off. Wipe him. <laughs> hey, wipe him. <laughs> Wipe him on my pants. Wipe him on Marty's pants. Wipe him on my pants. Keep wiping. Full face plant captured. <laughs> Me on the one. Tell Brandy to get All in the better. woods. All better. Get in the woods. Brandy, get in there. Find him.
All right, just made it home. It was a fun weekend. Uh, dogs were kind of kind of struggling with the track, picking up checks. First run they've had since March, so can't really can't really blame them there. But had some fun. Got out Saturday evening on the buggies and bombed around Island Pond area. <clears throat> so that was pretty fun. And uh, yeah, that's it for this week's video. Catch you on the next one.